What's up YouTube? Jeff back again today with a very exciting Apple video for you guys. Today I'm making a video on the iPhone 15 Pro Max specifically because there's a couple things about this phone and the settings that really bother me. Now you guys know that I'm a huge Samsung fan and I've been trying to give the iPhone 15 Pro Max a go, a fair go, um, but there's some things I love about Samsung and the way they do settings. They give you a lot of options but they also make things not so buried, at least the key things, not so buried in the settings that people can find them. One thing that I made a video about a few years back that's gotten hundreds of thousands of views is the fact that Apple buries the brightness, auto brightness toggle inside the settings. I'm gonna show you guys today how to fix that and a couple of other key things that are really annoying that you might wanna fix, like vibration, that's also buried, uh, and true tone, which also affects your auto brightness as well. Before we get started, I want to thank my son Jonathan for giving me this beautiful Wonder Wonderland piece of art. He always gives me something to hang out in the video. We appreciate that. Also, if you guys want to switch to Samsung, if you're watching this, you're an Apple user, we'd love to have you on the Samsung side. Check out my link in the description. You can get a free mystery box from me if you pre-order the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Get a free case, a free cleaning kit, a free phone stand, other accessories. If you're in the U.S., we do that for everyone in the U.S. It's free shipping. All you have to do is use my Samsung affiliate link to order. Check it out in the pinned comment description for more details. So if you go into the settings on your iPhone and you go to the display and brightness, you would think that auto brightness would be in here. But if you look in here, you'll find automatic, text size, bold text, true tone, night shift, auto lock, raise to wake, always on display and display zoom. There is no auto brightness setting inside display and brightness. So that's very annoying because that's obviously where it should be. And in fact, just again, not to belabor the point, but if you go into the display settings on your Samsung phone, right here is the display settings, you will see adaptive brightness right there under the brightness slider, which is exactly where it should be. Um, and you can see not here. So if you go back to settings, where you can find auto brightness is inside the accessibility settings, which is two settings being used below, but it's not even very obvious here where it is. You've got to go to display and text size. And then down here, you'll find auto brightness all the way at the bottom. It's almost like Apple doesn't want you to mess with it. Um, I have it on, but if you don't like it on, you can, of course, toggle it off. Um, they do tell you that turning it off may affect battery life and long-term performance, of course, because if you crank your battery, uh, your brightness up all the time, that's going to make your battery life a lot lower. And if, conversely, if you crank your battery, your brightness down, then it's going to make your battery life better. But most people crank it all the way up, and of course, that hurts the battery life. But anyway, you can fix it right there. The other thing which I found really annoying is somehow on my previous iPhone, I turned off the haptic feedback, which is the vibration it makes when you tap on the keyboard. And I thought that was inside of the vibration settings, but you actually have a vibration toggle in here as well. If you go to touch, this setting right here actually turns off all of the vibration on your iPhone, including some emergency alerts as well. So even if you go into the sounds and haptics, let's go sounds and haptics, and you turn on system haptics and you turn on keyboard feedback to haptic, I had this on, I couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. And the reason why it wasn't working is because I had somehow, I don't know how, I had disabled the vibration toggle down here. So very weird and also something that you might wanna know, something that could happen to you. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention too, because people have told me they've turned their auto brightness off and their iPhone still address the brightness of their display. There's a good reason for that. If you turn your brightness off, it can still adjust the brightness if you have under display settings. Let's go back to the display settings here. If you go into display settings, if you have true tone on, it'll still adjust the brightness. So you also have to turn this off if you don't want the brightness adjusted. So you need auto brightness off and true tone off. You cannot get true tone and auto brightness off at the same time. If you want the auto brightness completely not to work at all, no brightness adjustments, you need both of them off. I just wanted to pass that along to people. There's a lot of other things about iPhones that infuriate me, but uh, the fact that they really cook some of these settings that are really important to how people use their phones is super annoying. And again, not something you'll find on your Samsung device over here. So if you're watching this, you want to come to Team Samsung again, check out the link in the pins comment description, Galaxy S24 Ultra mystery boxes. Sign up. Even if you're a Samsung user, you found this video, you're just curious, sign up to get a free case, cleaning kit, all that at launch of the S24 Ultra. I appreciate you guys checking out this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.